Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to cash out your SLP to your bank account. All right, so we're going to use a method where we send the SLP to Binance and in Binance, you trade uh, the SLP into the token of your choice and then you sell it one in the P2P marketplace or for Malaysian, I'm going to show you how to send it over to uh, Luno, the local wallet, as well as uh, centralized exchange. All right, the first thing you want to do is go to Binance. So here's the screen, Binance. You need to uh, register. I'll leave the link uh, in the description. You will also might need to do KYC verification in order to use uh, some of the features that I'll be showing today. On the front page, after you log in, you go to Wallet, then Fiat and Spark. But you can also go to Overview, which is the same thing. It shows everything. And then you click on Fiat and Spark. So this is where all the tokens that you have currently. So what you want to do next is to click on Deposit and choose the coin. So here we are going to choose SLP. So make sure you're choosing SLP, not the old one, not the small love potion, but the smooth love potion. Click on that. Click on network and make sure you're using Ronin. So this portal will come out. We will tell, tell you that if you're transferring your asset from your Ronin wallet, please replace address uh, prefix from 0x to Ronin. Click OK. But you your address is already listed down as Ronin uh, colon anyway. So that's good. Now click on copy. All right. The next thing is to send from your Ronin to Binance. You actually don't even have to go to the marketplace or the X Infinity dashboard. You can just go to your wallet, click on send, click on the asset, choose it to be SLP and paste the Ronin wallet that were given to you. Double check that you know, the Ronin word and column is uh, right in front and then choose the amount that you want to transfer. So for this purpose, we're going to transfer 1,000 SLP. So click Next. And just click Confirm. And there you go. So you have done the first part. You can look at the current transaction in the Activities tab. So you can click on that and click on this icon to see what is happening. It might take a while or the transaction to register in the blockchain on the Ronin chain. So now you can see that the transfer is uh, successful. Click on that, click on there. You'll see that All right. sometimes the blockchain is a bit slow. All right. and, and you don't have to worry if things seem to be a bit slow because it has to go through the network. So don't be alarmed. You will receive a notification later on here up top as well as uh, on the phone. All right, so after a while, under the recent deposit, you'll see that the transaction is listed. So like just now, 1,000 SLP deposited and it is completed. You'll see also on the uh, bell icon that the deposit of 1,000 SLP is successful. All right, so you can go straight to your wallet and check it there. Go search your SLP. And you can click on show balance to see that it is indeed uh, has arrived. All right, so that is okay. So that is the first part. The next part is to go to the market and swap your SLP to the coin of your choosing. So the coin that I would suggest is either uh, ETH, Ethereum or uh, USDT. Okay, so on the market, click on the market on this page, you will be by default being brought over to spot markets tab. Uh, if not, just click on that and you have a few options, but you know, there's so many uh, pairs that are happening right now. So you, what you want to do, you just want to search SLP. So there you only have like three options and alt, uh, the alt coins as well as fiat. So under alt, you have SLP and ETH pairing. And under fiat, you have SLP USDT and SLP BUSDT. All right, so how it works on both, if you want to trade into USDT or ETH, they are the same. 
Uh, for this purpose, I'm going to show you how to uh, use the SLP ETH pairing. So click on that. You will be brought over to this uh, trading page. So don't be alarmed. Don't be scared. Now, we already have the SLP and we want to sell it to someone else so that we get the ETH. So first thing you do is you click on sell. Next, to make it quick, use market. So limit and stop limit are a little bit more advanced where you want to set the price at certain price. But since we want to make it fast, so you choose market and it will match your order to whichever price that are available right now. Okay, so like I mentioned, we want to trade the ETH for, sorry, the SLP for ETH, right? And here we are going to trade 1000 SLP. And there you go. So we also need to know that there's a minimum for the trade. So if you just put 10, for example, and click on that, it says it must be greater than 0.005 ETH. So click on SLP 1000 and go to total. That is definitely more than 0.005. So go back to amount. Once everything is in order, click on sell SLP. So we are done. So the market order will fulfill. And then now you just go to your fiat and spot in your wallet. Again, go to SLP and click show balance. And you have just one point, just 13 right now. So this is what I started with. So go back to uh, ETH. Ethereum, show balance, and we have the 0.023 plus, which is what we have uh, ordered just now. All right, so that is the second part where you trade your SLP for another token. And this works the same for USDT as well. So the third part is to sell your token that you have, which is Ethereum or um, USDT that you just purchased and get cash in your bank account. All right. So for this is for non-Malaysians. What you can do is you can go for P2P marketplace. And what happens is that the, there will be one person that you sell your token to, and they will send it into your account, whether it's your digital wallet or your bank account. And you can go to trade and then go to P2P. But before you do that, you would want to add or transfer your token from fiat and spot to funding. So funding is the kind of like the, the wallet for the P2P marketplace, right? Okay, now how to transfer is click on funding, click on transfer. And it will say internal transfer of free on Binance. You want to transfer from fiat and spot to funding. So that is correct. You will want to send your Ethereum. All right. So it depends on how much you want to transfer. You can click max and then click confirm. All right. So I'm not going to do that right now. And next is you go to P2P. So P2P is again, it's peer to peer and your purpose here is you want to sell your token. So click on sell and choose it to be USDT or ETH. If you, if you are using P2P, I would suggest you use USDT just to make it easier in terms of the currency exchange, right? So if you go to USDT, you'll, you'll need to find, for example, if you're in Philippines, you go to Philippines, PHP, and you see whoever that are selling at what rate, and then you can click on sell USDT and just write it here that how much USDT that you want to sell. Maybe you want to sell like 100, you receive 5,000 PHP and oh, and then you, if you have not set your payment method yet, this is where you will need to do so. And it will take a little bit of time, but once you set, you don't need to do that anymore. And then click on sell USDT and then you can follow the next steps, which is quite straightforward. All right. And, and that's it. Oh, so. Uh, for fiat, there are a few other currencies that are available. So you can uh, look at all the lists here. There's uh, Japanese yen. I saw just now there's uh, Thailand, but, but unfortunately for Malaysian, uh, this way is blocked by uh, the SC, 
the security commissioner of Malaysia. So we are not able to cache our SLP this way. Uh, although I've heard that uh, there is a workaround to that. However, today I'll be discussing a more legit way. So the way to do it is to use Luno, which is the Malaysian's local uh, wallet and also centralized exchange. Okay, go to your Luno wallet. I will put the, the link. If you don't have description below, it will help both me and you if you ever purchase Bitcoin. All right, so go to your wallet. So the way this works. <laughs> All right, be right back. All right, so uh, the way this work is the same on the mobile or the the desktop app that we are using right now or the web app or other. So go to your wallet, click on receive, choose Ethereum and paste the address here and then select ETH network, Ethereum ERC20. Do not set a BSC because then it will send to that address on BSC, which if it's not yours, then it will be gone forever. Next, uh, click on ERC20. I would just want to send 0 0.02. All right, so there, there will be a 0 0.05 ETH network uh, fee. So just be aware of that, uh, which means it's better to do more in one transaction than a lot of smaller transaction. All right, so let's say I just want to send 0 0.02 and I'll, I'll get 0 0.15 and click on withdraw. It will go give us this pop-up, um, the amount, the address, the network. Uh, make sure that the address is correct and it's on the same network. So, you know, double check. It's correct. And transaction cannot be canceled. So continue. Oh, so we now have to put in code for both our mobile, from our mobile phone, as well as our uh, email all right so be right back all right and then once you have all your codes in click submit and we double request submitted and there you go and that is all you need to do and then you you just need to wait for approval it will take up to 12 hours to complete all right so wait for that and then if you go to your luna wallet Sorry, once this processing is done, you will see that the transaction will come over here and it will take some more time. On this page now, if you go to wallets, you go to Ethereum, you can click on sell to sell your Ethereum. But the easier way, the, the cheaper way is to go to exchange so once you have your ETH, right, you can go to now Luno Exchange and choose whether limit or market or stop limit, but you want to sell, click on that. You want to sell it fast, you click market. Uh, you don't want LTC, you want ETH and choose 0 0.02, which is uh, what you have. And then click sell ETH and it will automatically match with the current market price that is available all right so once you're done there your money will be uh, reflected in the local currency which is here click on that and then you can click on withdraw to your bank account so if you don't have the bank account yet click on add a new bank account and once uh, all the verification is over you can just click on that click on the amount uh, for example 200 and click next and confirm with the withdrawal fee of 10 cents. So once you click confirm, it will take up to two working days for Luno to send the money into your bank account. And that's it. All right, that's it. So I hope the video helps you on how to transfer your SLP to Binance, trade it to ETH or USDT, and then I'll sell it on the P2P market or send it over to Luno for Malaysian and then trade it for Malaysian Ringgit and then withdraw it into your bank account. All right, so if the video is helpful to you, press subscribe, press like, and I'll see you in another video and good vibes to you guys.